Hello, how's everybody today? Welcome, welcome. Hi, Lori. Hi, it's Yolanda. I hope everybody's having a good day today. TGIS, thank God it's Sherry. <laughs> My cute little saying, right? Hello, everybody. Facebook, YouTube, everybody. Love all of y'all. Um, so for those of you, you know, that have been around my channel for a while, you know that I have closely been following the Jamie Kloss story. It was one that touched my heart. Um, hey, Sheila, happy Saturday. It's TGIS is actually, thank God it's Saturday as well. <laughs> it was just a cute little thing that I decided to try to grab onto and, and run with here. <laughs> So the Jamie Kloss story um, back in October, for those of you that maybe aren't familiar, maybe some of the Facebook people, um, October 15th, 2018, um, the house of Jamie Kloss, her, where her, her and her parents live, was, um, you know, gunned down type thing. And they were both killed and she was kidnapped. She's been gone for three months almost. And um, she was recently found. She's alive, she's safe, she's home, um, she's okay now. So I'm happy to, you know, announce that. <clears throat> I'm happy to announce that she's doing all right, that she, you know, she's ho home and comfortable with, with family and friends, you know. Um, she'll be returning to school and they, they're going to have re a really nice reunion. So that's really awesome for her. Um you know, the investigation is still, of course, ongoing. Um, hey, Tommy. However, hey, Bill. Hey, Samantha. Hey, Christine. Don't want to miss anybody saying hello. <laughs> so the investigation is still ongoing. But what we do know so far is that um, heat cake. So Jake Thomas Patterson is the suspect in this that is charged with murdering her parents as well as kidnapping her. Hey, Mary. And um, he has family that, that lives in and around like that Gordon um, area. So they basically moved there 15 years ago. She, um, there's a brother and a sister that's connected with um, Jake Thomas Patterson. The sister's name's Katie. The brother's name is Eric. Um, now, Eric has a really bad history uh, past. He's been a convicted sex offender. And he's also has some drug charges and stuff like that. So... Hey, Too Crazy Alex. Thanks for joining. Hey, Christopher. Hey, Andrew. Hope everybody's having a great day. So we're just discussing the Jamie Kloss case right now because it's so fresh and there's so many, you know, new things that are happening with it. So happy and glad that she's okay. She's safe. I'm, I'm so elated. I hope that her healing process is quick and um, I hope that she's able to sort of get back to normal life, um, school, friends, uh, you know, even just going out and stuff, this can have quite a huge impact on someone, um, you know, afterwards. So, hey, Rick, how's it going? How's my back today? Oh, man, seriously, throbbing, like all the time, you guys. I just choose not to focus on it. Hey, Kariam, how are you? So, Jamie's home safe. Now we just have to go through the court's process with Jake. Thomas Patterson and authorities do say that there is no connection with the, the two boys that the brothers um, didn't work together on this and he he is actually not involved. However, I'm wondering if he's not involved, you know, was he at that house? Did he know that Jamie was there? Because um, that would make him just as involved, actually. <laughs> so um, my hair looks beautiful. Thanks. I just watched it yesterday. So we're definitely going to be following that case. Um, interesting that his brother has that kind of a negative history attached to him um, being a registered convicted sex offender, um, you know, in 2012. We don't know um, too much more about like because there's literally no um, criminal record on Jake Thomas Patterson. He was only 21 years old. Right. So it says that he took precautions to shave his head and make sure that no DNA was sort of left behind at the scene and whatnot. But in all honesty, the kid was 21 and he wasn't in the database. 
Why would he have been in the database if he's never even had a freaking parking ticket, right? So it would have been difficult for authorities to catch this guy had um, Jamie not taken some courage and gone to escape, you know? She was being like locked up and put away. She was, um, you know, sort of held against her will, you guys. So she, there hasn't been too many details that have been released about that. The older brother is a few years older. I'm not, uh, I think he's 24, I want to say. I could be wrong on that, though. He's, he's, he's also in his 20s. Let's just say that, okay? Um, I don't have too, too much information. I got to go into the public records in order to get his, um, even his previous conviction. I want to try to look into some of this and get the info so I can read it to you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Good afternoon, Kara. Hey, Mary. Hey, Heather. <laughs> Glad Jamie's safe and sound. Brave girl, right? Had she not have escaped, she may still very well be sitting, you know, locked away while, you know, this is this. We don't even know what's all even happened to her yet, you know, and that, that will all come out, of course, um, that depending on on what jake decides to plead is whether or not we're going to go forth with a trial so I'm glad you, yes hey sheila uh there's going to be some interest uh, this is going to be interesting to know what the motive was jamie needs all her prayers she has to be all broken down because of her parents this is so sad she did articulate to the people who were helping sort of save her um that you know she she sort of um described her captor described what he did the fact that he shot both of her parents and then you know kidnapped her and he's been keeping her locked away in this cabin like house um you know she definitely was traumatized check the dad or stepdad's criminal record also interesting that the cabin itself the exact house that she was uh being held in was given back to the bank uh like eight days after she was abducted by um jake patterson's father patrick patterson she said he killed my parents yeah I think she was found safe. That's all I'm sure she's been through hell. Yes. I can't imagine what she's been through. Apparently she was, you know, she was dirty. Her hair was matted. She looked very unkept, um, which means that she wasn't being well looked after. She was just sort of being held. I wonder if the fact that so many people weren't willing to let go of this story in a sense is what created in a sense for you know, him to not feel comfortable enough to bring her out, to move her, if he was going to, you know, try to sell her in the sex trafficking industry or something like that. You know, I think that he probably knew how many people and the, the entire county had, you know, signs up, every store, everywhere you looked was her face. Literally when she had walked up to, you know, Janine, I think it's Janine, I would, I think, I, I'm not good with names, you guys. Um, but when she walked up to Mrs. Nutter, um, and you know, she, Mrs. Nutter noticed her and recognized her immediately, even though she was a little bit skinnier and she'd lost some weight. She wasn't really kept how she used to be when she lived at home and was well cared for. Um, you know, it was instant. Uh, they knew who she was, you know, and of course she was really, um, you know, standoffish and shy and, and scared. I mean, she doesn't know where she is. She doesn't know these people. She's now sitting in their house on their couch in their blanket. You know, like I'm sure that the whole thing was pretty freaking traumatizing for her. Elizabeth Smart did a beautiful shout out to her, kind of like a, a you know, an encouragement of, you know, like it's a, it's a miracle. It's amazing that she's alive um, and she's okay, you know, <coughs> and she encouraged her strength. Hey, Clary T. How are you, hon? Um, so Patterson's history that we know of is that he did work for one day at the Jenny O um, turkey factory plant or whatever. 
Um, so he worked one day there. However, there's no connection. There's no known knowledge at this point, whether or not they actually had any contact or communication. So it's been, it's been rumored that he possibly saw Jamie at a bus stop and, you know, targeted her that way. However, we, we, we need some more information yet. You know, there's still stuff coming out. Happy she saved herself. Absolutely, Steve. So glad she was courageous enough to escape. Of course, Mary. Sure, she got tremendous healing to go through. Yes, I'm sure. But I think she's got a wicked support system. And I mean, look at, you know, there's only 3,300 people in that town and 2,000 of them came out to support searching for her. I think that she has an amazing support system where she is. Um, and the fact that the authorities are bringing out the fact that this was targeted towards her, it sort of... Um, re-safeties the area that this may not be happening all the time and and whatnot you know it was it was sadly just to do with her um i'm looking beautiful thanks clary you're such a sweetheart hello doug hello conrad she didn't know she didn't know if they were going to save her or do the same thing he did. Plus, he killed her parents. Yes, no kidding, Kara. I'm sure the entire situation was really traumatizing for her um, and scary. She didn't know what the hell was going on. She didn't know where she was. Um, I'm not sure if there's a GoFundMe for her, but I do know that she will have access to the insurance money that, you know, her parents had set up or whatever. So she will have some... Uh, there was a $50,000 reward. I wonder if that will be, <coughs> excuse me. I wonder if that will be reneged or if that will be split between the couples that sort of helped her get to safety or, you know, because Jamie did kind of save herself in a sense, right? So I, I don't know if, um, if they'll actually dispense that $50,000. Um, Clary T. So it was the brothers that supposedly lived there. The parents had moved away a few years ago and the boys decided to stay. Now, I don't know if Eric Patterson was actually at the house with Jake and knew that Jamie was there, um, didn't say anything or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's going to be a really interesting case, you guys. I'm interested to see what his lawyer tries to say, you know. So I don't want to, you know, like vocalize too much of my own personal opinion because I've always been the type of person, you guys, that wants to wait for the evidence. I mean, we could sit here and speculate all damn day long, but we won't actually know until we see the proof. We see that evidence. Right. So, you know, it's right now looking like he's pretty freaking guilty and all of that. But let's I want to hear the whole thing of it. I want to know why he did this and why he targeted her. Um, you know, how he even came into knowing who she was. Uh, was his parents connected to Jamie's parents? Did they know each other? Um, you know, there's a lot of questions right now, right? As with any beginning of a case or beginning of a story type thing. Yeah, it says that he planned this. But like I said in the beginning, you guys, um, he may have planned this by shaving his head thinking he's not going to leave behind any DNA. The guy has never been in any database anywhere to have any DNA, you know, um, paired up against, you know, to have that tested against. So, you know, I don't think that he would have been caught anyways had she not have escaped is what I'm trying to say. You know, and then her description of his vehicle is what got to authorities and they were able to pull him over just outside Gordon, probably on his way back home, you know, to wherever he thought he locked her up at, you know. You're going to assume they want the death penalty, Steve. Yeah, who knows? Lori says, it bothers me a little bit that the authorities were trying to take credit for finding her when it was 100% her courage to escape. Yes, yeah, I could see how that might bother you, you know. I didn't hear that they were doing that, actually. They should give her the $50,000, hey? Now there's a good idea. <laughs> if they're going to pay a reward out, they should just give it to her, you know. She did save herself, 
<laughs> or split it between the three, you know, the three people that helped her kind of thing. The cup, the couple, the two couples and herself, you know, split it three ways. <laughs> ah, that's just shallow thinking, right? They're probably not even, they're going to just probably renege that. They're probably not going to even pay it out now. I wonder if they're going to go for the mental illness card. I wonder that too. I wonder all kinds of things right now. But I don't really want to vocalize all of that. One, because I don't want to actually give, you know, his lawyer, if he is, you know, going to be watching this or something, some kind of an idea, you know, um, to fight or argue this. Like, I I think he is guilty. He should be punished. But I, of course, want to see all the evidence and I want to know the reasons behind all of this crap, right? You agree with me, Sheila? Thanks, hon. <laughs> Jamie is a hero. Yeah. And well, and the two, the people who helped her, of course, like, and like I said, they instantly knew who she was. Like they had seen her photo all over town. They knew who she was. It wasn't even a, a doubt or a question. As soon as they saw her, even though she had lost some weight and, and she wasn't really kept as she used to be, um, it was quite noticeable who she was. So I'm, I was ecstatic. I couldn't hold it together, you guys. I usually don't put up, you know, three friggin' videos in, in, a, in a day kind of thing. But after, you know, the tribute to Shanann Watts on her birthday, which, by the way, I'm so sorry for my miscalculations on that, for crying out loud. I don't know what's wrong with my... That's what happens when you try to do math manually like that. Like, I've seriously felt like, <laughs> like, so stupid. Um, so she, she was actually 35. So I did the tribute for her. And then to find out that Jamie Kloss was found on the same day, you know, that would have been Shanann's birthday here. I think, it, I think it was pretty ironic. I think it was really a neat coincidence, you know, Wisconsin doesn't have the death penalty. Thanks, Clary T. Um, I'm not sure that, you know, like I've said this before about the death penalty, because like here in Canada, we just don't have that. So, you know, it is always sort of life with parole or life without parole. And um, that depends on the seriousness of your, of your charges. So, you know, I kind of have always been that that mentality of they should just suffer the rest of their natural life behind bars without their freedom, without being able to make any more decisions for themselves and having to work, you know, you know, making license plates or in the kitchen or whatever it is that they're doing to, you know, earn like peanuts for money and pay that back to victims and things like that. I've always been of that kind of mentality with the judicial system as far as um, inmates and and prisons and, and, and you know, justice. So, <clears throat> hey, Daisy Sushine, how are you? Once he shows motive in insanity out the door, he knew right from wrong. Yeah, I believe he he probably knew exactly what he was doing. Thanks, Beth. <laughs> yeah, some people really believe in the death penalty. I personally feel awful for the people who have to administer that punishment. Um, those people are probably not um, bad people, you know, yet the psyche becomes affected severely when you talk about ending another person's life whether or not they deserved it or not you have to put another human being in there to do that job you know we should invent a machine like an ai artificial intelligent machine that does that so that there isn't a human being that's subjected to having to you know enforce that punishment and administer that final dose or a last shock or whatever it is they choose you know they floored her courage and strength. Yeah, 13 years old, you know. Good for her, though, right? You were crying when you found out about Jamie Ma Mary? Aw. I was over the moon. I was so ecstatic, I could barely stand still for the video. Like, I was just like, oh, my God. <laughs> like, I couldn't believe it. You know, I, I was actually out for dinner with a group of friends. And uh, when I got home, I saw all the messages. And it, it just, I couldn't believe it. So I quickly jumped online and did a, an update that she had been found. So I was, I was elated. I was ecstatic. You agree suffering the rest of your life behind bars is far better punishment. Yes. And unfortunately, it does cost the taxpayers some money. 
I, I get that. I get where, you know, it's not that great, right? Who wants to pay for a criminal, like, you know, three squares and is caught for the rest of his life? I mean, I get it. Um, you know, and I, I, I often wonder if there's not some other kind of way that we could have that paid for without, a, you know, taking it all from taxpayers kind of thing. Um, hey, Jody, you're here. <laughs> My laugh is the best. Thanks. It is a criminal network, Joseph says. Yeah. Basically, life in prison without parole. It takes forever to, to for someone to, to die in the death penalty cases. Kara, you're right about that. Um, and I often wonder why that, that is the way that it is. Is it because of the effect that it has on the employees afterwards? You know, um, how, how long can somebody work in that type of uh, position even without it affecting their sleep and, and who they are, you know? Watched an interview with a man who worked giving a lethal injection and as an older man, he was completely broken dealing with his own guilt. See, because you don't, sometimes there's been some people that have been wrongfully put to death. And it's later found out through t DNA testing or whatever he, that this person was actually not guilty. And so you can imagine what that would do to somebody knowing that you had, you had a hand in that person's death. And meanwhile, they were saying the whole time that they were innocent. And like, I get it. There's a ton of inmates, um, you know, in every prison that are sitting there like, I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. And, and so many of them are. But there are some freaking stories out there where they really aren't guilty and they really are sitting behind bars or they really are being put to death. And that's that's crazy. You know, we're supposed to be able to trust the judicial system that it accumulates its evidence accordingly to convict somebody, not just, huh, you know, uh, collaborating or, or, you know, corrupting the evidence trail in order to find someone guilty because that's what you strongly believe. You have to go with the evidence and not, you know, and science doesn't lie. People lie all the time, but science doesn't, right? So I, I would imagine, Clary T, that that would be something that would affect, you know, someone's psyche pretty, pretty severely. You were certain, Rob, that Jamie was dead. You know what, you guys, after the hunting season ended and nobody found anything, I was convinced she was alive. Convinced. Although I had always been convinced that she was possibly in the sex trade trafficking industry. However, it's possible that she was on her way there and just never quite made it because moving her would have been, you know, they would have been caught probably. It was a very small town. It's, you know, her her face and her 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 story was sort of plastered everywhere. Um, you know, so I think that it's possible that it, you know, she may have been headed that that direction but didn't quite get there all the way, you know? It takes 20,000 to put someone to death. Wow. Yeah. I'm just going to grab a card one second. <clears throat> All right, so what are we saying is ridiculous? Sending you positive vibes. Yes, Clary, are you talking about your um your recent loss, hun? Elizabeth Smart was raped daily, and the woman involved is is out of prison now and living by a school. Yeah, that should be illegal, in my opinion. Hey, real Remy D. Thanks for joining me. <laughs> that rhymes. That's funny. <laughs> hey, Lisa. You're new to the channel? Well, welcome, welcome. Here we discuss um, all kinds of different true crimes, true stories, survivors, natural disasters, missing people, 
Now we're recently talking about Jamie Kloss and the, the fact that she was recently found. Well, she, that she saved herself for crying out loud. And, uh, you know, it's it's interesting to that it's going to be really interesting to see the way that the case pans out, what he decides to plead in regards to these charges. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought for sure it was trafficking so much around here. I did too, to be honest with you. Wisconsin has like one of the biggest, it's one of the biggest um, state, like states for sex trafficking if you look up the statistics about it. So I was sure that that's what was happening. However, I'm, I'm a little bit con convinced in a sense that due to the publicity of her, her gone missing was what sort of created for her to just end up being locked up kind of thing until everything died down. Now, if you look at the timeline of the media, they had started stories immediately after this had happened. However, they they dropped off. They didn't even do a single story in the entire month of December. So I think the last story that they did was on like the 28th of October. And then they jumped all the way until De December 12th when they had done the Christmas tree in her honor. They had decorated it with her name, uh, Jamie Kloss, and they had put green bulbs and you know, in connection with missing people, right? So um, I feel like, you know, the publicity of her is what sort of created for the perpetrator, for Jake, to just sort of keep her locked up and keep her away. However, I wonder if the ultimate goal was not to try to sell her somehow. I mean, what was he thinking? He was going to keep her and she was going to be his wife at home and like forever live together? Or like, you know, there's a lot of the mentality part of it that we don't yet know. So... You know, the trafficking thing makes sense, you know, and it makes sense that they definitely, um, you know, they, they kind of panicked or something, you know, they realized that her story was catching wind on media and social media and, you know, the YouTube platforms like crazy and people were sharing this news all around the world. So, you know, I don't think that that at 21 years old, you're that intelligent, that you know, that you're able to cover all this up. So I think that he thought he'd just hide out until things died down and that never happened kind of thing. And she ended up, you know, come, you know, coming to her courage and, and escaping while he was gone out. Thank God, you know, it has to be reminded about the man due to having his children. Um, I don't think, Kara, that uh, that Elizabeth Smart gave birth to her perpetrator's children. Um, who, what was his name? Uh, Brian, Brian something. I can't remember right now. I told you guys I'm horrible with names. <laughs> like horrible. Mm. It was widely publicized, and I think that they just sort of, you know, were trying to lay low until things died down to, to make the next move, you know? And I honestly have no idea if Kyle Janky Annis is connected to, um, to um, Jake Thomas Patterson. So that'll be interesting to find out if they have any involvement together. Because Kyle was at the Kloss family home, Shortly after everything happened, stealing her underwear and tank tops and like clothing items that even though he was transgender and dressing um, like the opposite sex would not have even fit him. So it just didn't make any sense why he was in there stealing her clothes only. Still a lot of info to be revealed. You're right. Yeah, Kara, I think you're mistaken about the stories. I do remember a story of somebody being kidnapped for years and having children by their perp. But I thought that that was um, the guy with, with, he kept them in the backyard. You know, he had tents set up at the house in the backyard and stuff like that. I can't remember exactly the names of who this all was, you guys, right now. Maybe somebody knows. JC, is that what it was? Thank you, Remy. Real, real Remy D. Thank you. 
I usually see lives are less structured. Usually if I'm going to be telling a story, I have all these details <laughs> and I made it. He actually don't even include all the details that some of you would like to hear. So, you know, that being said, you guys, if there are details that you find I regularly don't cover or find, and you'd like me to discuss that in each of my video stories, you know, definitely reach out to me and shoot me a message and let me know. I do take constructive criticism, you know, I think it's, it's always better to be evolving and, and sort of bettering yourself and changing, you know, with change, bettering yourself with change. <clears throat> you, a mistake on P on the people. Yeah. Kara, you had me wondering there for a second. I was like, no, 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 no. She later, Elizabeth smart later ended up married and now has her own children. Yes. But those, none of those children were from Brian, the crazy guy that kidnapped her he said he was curious as to what size she wore yeah i don't know if i believe that story though real remy d i feel like he was there for another reason but you know kyle was actually locked up when the whole incident happened at the Kloss family home so there is no connection literally but did he know this you know did these guys know each other um you know that's what I'd like to know. Yeah, it was JC that that gave birth to her perps children. Okay, I knew that. I knew that I had heard that in a story. I just couldn't remember exactly whose whose story that. Ariel Castro. Thank you. <laughs> like yes, that's it. <laughs> no one can criticize Sherry. You guys can all constructively criticize me. The only time I don't um, accept it or tolerate it is if it's rude or belittling or name calling or demeaning, you know, but it, I mean, if it's constructive criticism of, I think you should do this, or I'd love to hear this from you, or I really wish you wouldn't do that. Um, you know, I, I take all of those things pretty seriously from you guys. So easy to mix up. Yeah, Beth. Yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth Smart does have a couple of kids now. She looks really happy, actually. So it's really nice to see after living through something so traumatic, being, you know, kidnapped for nine months, you guys. I mean, that's no small amount of time. Um, definitely. Definitely scary, right? <laughs> oh, Lori, you're cute. <laughs> Kyle is a wackadoo. I mean, yeah, but I mean, whatever. I'm not here to judge, to be honest. I really don't care. Um, what I do care, though, is if he had some knowledge or involvement in the crime involving Jamie Kloss in any way. <laughs> Sherry is the bomb. Talk calm. You're funny. YouTuber who actually pays attention to the chat. Yeah, of course, right, real Remy. I don't know why I just want to, can I just call you Remy? <laughs> it's too many words, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. No, I really enjoy the lives. I find it's a it's an opportunity for us to interact with each other in the moment about the things that we talk about on my channel. And I mean, even some things that are off topic. I've had, you know, discussions of makeup and hair quickly or outfits or whatever. Um, it shows you who I really am and it shows you how real I am. I literally wear my heart on my sleeve, um, you know. So Jamie said she didn't know Patterson. She told the woman, yes, that's true that she says she didn't actually really know him, but she described her perpetrator to, you know, to these, these people who had helped save her, right? <clears throat> Clary, right? <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> I just want to know want I just want to know what goes through people's heads when they do these things. Well, you know, and he's quite young, so we you know, we don't actually know. Jake Patterson is obsessed possibly did not rape her she was pretty dirty when they found her yeah i wonder what she's had to endure and what he put her through you know be smart is so beautiful she 
She's smart, accomplished and living her life. Remy, you're totally right. You know, that that woman really has her life together and she's able to be a voice for victims who are survivors as well. I think that's it's inspiring. You know, she's written a book. She's you know, she's gone married. She's has children. She has her own family. I think that's amazing. She does a lot of um, open speaker, um, you know, sort of it, avenues. She, she goes to a lot of places to speak of her experience. And I think that's that's inspiring. You know, I think it just shows us that no matter what the heck we're going through in our own lives, if, if someone like that can survive that, like if somebody can go through that and survive it, you know, we can survive whatever we're going through that's down and out and not that great, right? I mean, it gives me hope. I got to tell you, it really does. You mistyped, Remy? Okay. Deborah, it does suck. I'm scared to death every day for my daughter. Oh, I know. The world's getting worse. It is getting scary for sure. Stolen Life by J.C. Duggard is the book. It's so good. I have, I'll have to read it. I haven't actually. I'll have to see if it's available here in, in my town. I'm hoping that she wasn't sexually abused as well because I, I, you know, I mean, that's that's traumatizing all in itself. If she had to lose her virginity to rape, I am a survivor of exactly that thing. I lost my virginity to rape. And so I can't I can I can totally imagine the fear that would be going through her um, if that's something that she had to live through. Absolutely. Call me Remy. OK. I had to add real because someone had on YouTube had Remy B. Oh, okay. And people thought it was me, which was not. Heart shaped rock. Okay, it's one found. I found on the beach where I live. You you found a heart shaped rock on the beach where you live? That's so cool. He does look older for twenty one. I wonder if he's a smoker. But I, I also really wonder what he's put her through, you know? Was he feeding her? Was he looking after her? Lisa says, I can tell you what should be going through their head when they do this. A shotgun shell. Oh, man, Lisa. Yeesh. <laughs> you're happy to have found my channel? Well, thanks, Remy. I'm, I'm so happy that you're happy to found the channel. And welcome, you know? Um, I think that I'm one of the most real persons on YouTube platform, you know, to date. I, I think there's probably a lot of really real people out there, um, but none like me. So <laughs> I am unique. <laughs> I could have still been stalking her. Don't You don't always know. Yes, Huckleberry Corona. You don't always know if someone's stalking you. That's true. We have two girls, three and four years old. Well, take good care of them, Kara. Rape is horrible. It really, really is. It's something that's very traumatizing. I had a lot of difficulty trying to have relationships later on in life and deal with, with the destruction of that to, to me personally. Um, it took, it took a toll for sure. So definitely not something I would even wish on my worst enemy. So if that's something that she had to go through, you know, I hope that she does find the support network in her area that can help her deal with that. Yes, thanks, old guy. It was a long time ago. It was when I was 13 years old, actually. So, I mean, I was Jamie's age when it happened to me. So I hope that's not something she had to go through, but we'll find out as, as the, the, you know, the story proceeds to unfold, right? Nowadays, you need your kids to be black belts. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Too crazy, Alex. many evils on the earth yes that's true old guy and it's 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 actually not really avoidable if it's going to happen to you and it's destined to happen to you it's going to happen so you know figuring out the best way to deal with that to get strength from it and not let it deteriorate you you know is is important i think and whatever way you need therapy to do that is, you know, is an each an individual person 
person's choice, you know, because there's so many avenues that you can take for therapy these days. You know, it doesn't have to be, you know, psychiatrists and, and medications if that's not what you want, you know. Morris Code, New Haven, Connecticut, Tearfully House, Point Park, Climate Walk, Planet Fair, and Hope's My Orchid Plant. Oh, that's really cool. That's so cool. We don't have any, um, like, oceans around where I live, so um, the rocks here are not as... <laughs> <laughs> not as pretty. The sand's not as soft, not as white. The lady who found her said it looked like she hadn't showered maybe eight days. Yeah. He looks like a druggie. Well, apparently he does have, well, his brother has some drug charges for marijuana um, dealing. So you love me, Sharon <laughs> Deborah? I love you too, hon. Yeah. You, you've seen a genuine classy and articulate <laughs> enjoy the life you're so sweet deborah thanks so much for your continued support and amazingness you think there's a possibility jake patterson has some kind of drug involvement use and maybe selling which is where he got money from that's possible Lori, with the fact that it's in the family however he doesn't actually have a criminal record he doesn't even have a parking ticket the guy is clean as can be so it's no wonder there was no DNA found or no, nothing really found at the crime scene that would have been able to be compared to anybody, you know? Hey, Mona. How are you, honey? Women and girls should always be aware of your surroundings. Yes, I, I agree. If you're aware of your surroundings, the, the possibility of something horrible happening to you, you might, you might be able to stop it a little bit. You know what I mean? But like I said, you guys, if it's destined to happen, it's going to happen. The nice lady walking her dog may have been the first non-killer person Jamie has seen in the days. Yeah, that's true. She was traumatized by the fact that this person killed her family, right? So, you hope with the love. Where did that go? You hope with the love and her family and therapy, she will have a great life. Yes, no kidding, Kara. Yeah, this is, I'd never wish any sex crime on my own worst enemy it happened when I was eight playing doctor. It's gonna, if it's gonna happen, it'll happen. I don't think about it. It doesn't affect me, so I'm lucky. That's good for you, Remy. Um, it was something that affected me, and it was something that, that happened in my childhood, but it wasn't, it wasn't penetration that I lost my virginity, so... I did deal with some sexual abuse as a child and, you know, later on ended up I, that I had gotten raped at 13 by a stranger, somebody I went to school with, actually. <clears throat> and then there's a weapon like Wolverine. The X-Men claws, playing the heart, comes out. The push of a button kind of makes it you kind of carry a gun or permit please do yeah that's see that's something that's different from canada to the u.s is that we don't actually have um gun laws here that will allow you to you know carry a weapon all the time kind of thing uh so you know you can use one here for hunting you can even you know be you can go through the course to be fitted to to acquire you know the the gun licensing to have one and own one, but carrying that around everywhere is not something that you're allowed to do in Canada. Unless you're an officer of the law, <laughs> basically. So, yeah, sh yeah, women should take defense classes. Not only is it good for your, you know, your health, it's actually, it's good for your, your safety too, right? Huckleberry, you say rape happens more than we all realize that it happens most most of the time. It's easier to deal with most the emotional problems after being raped if you deal with them alone, especially if it was repetitive. Yes, I agree, Huckleberry. You you gain strength from the evil, in my opinion. You know, you you do. You're gonna become a beachcomber when you grow up. <laughs> You're cute, Mona. The only drama-free channel on YouTube. Exactly, right? 
I mean, honestly, the most open platform that you can express anything you want, you know, your dislike or like for whatever, and you won't get attacked and you won't get, you know, like shit on or whatever, you know. <laughs> Where am I in Canada? I'm in the central part of Canada, Remy. Just numbered it. <laughs> I was lucky enough to never have to experience anything like that. Again, my father, son's father is amazing. That's awesome. You're in Connecticut? Okay, that's cool. I would beat shit out of anyone that tried anything on me. Lori, you're awesome. But unfortunately, that's not usually the case. You almost always have a knife or gun or both. Yeah. Like Watts stuffed his kids in tanks old guy says yes so I actually was um watching the armchair detective today you guys and I saw his um clip on the shadows of you know Chris Watts and I was really intrigued that how he had changed the lighting and you could really distinctly see a secondary shadow which very well could be Nicole Kessinger I wonder you guys is there been any footage any camera footage from the up opposite side, from the neighbor side that filmed it, that saw Chris Watts loading things into his truck, was there any cameras on the opposite side of that house or no? Was there any houses there? Like, cause I can't remember the exact development area and I don't remember if there was houses on both sides of them. I know there was none behind them. But I'm telling you, if you haven't seen that video yet, go take a leap over to um, the armchair detective and take a look at, at his video clips, the way he slowed that down. Um, like, like he's, it's really noticeable. You can see two shadows distinctly coming from opposite directions there, you guys. So it really does look like someone else was there. Um, you know, and I've said this before on my channel about Nicole Kessinger and, I've asked you guys, you know, for those of you that are interested in, in seeing her get reinvestigated to sign those petitions, they are there. Um, you know, I have them here on my channel. So I think that we do need to see the polygraph. We do need to see the GPS coordinates. That girl always had her phone on her too, right? And I mean, it pinged in the area, in Frederick area at uh, what, five, uh, 616 in the morning. So was she at the house helping Chris? dispose of his family or or not because it looks like she really was so you know it's 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 frustrating to see something like that and to feel like there's so many missing pieces that authorities haven't released maybe she has some involvement because it would it would be a backlash on the entire system if there was a deal that was you know made for for her to have like no, um, you, you know, ties to, to have to pay for her crime. That, that's just, that's unheard of. You know what I mean? I don't think that that's even legal. So, <laughs> I mean, that's making the entire, uh, you know, judicial system, the police force there look awful that they're not releasing this. And there is so many questions that we've all figured out on our own. So I, I don't know how we can sort of, I, the only thing I can think of is if we don't get enough signatures on this thing, they're not even going to look into it, you know? So we have to get the petition signed in order to have her relooked at. What's the title? It's called um, um, Shadows of Christopher Watts or something like that. Like I literally just watched it. I was, I was really impressed how he, how he um, slowed that down. Thanks, Re Real Remy D. Thank you. That's awesome. <clears throat> From no police records to double murder, kidnapping, possible rape. That's very amazing to me. He ruins so many lives, including his own. Yeah. <clears throat> Watts in the shadows. Thank you, Lori. You rock. Thank you. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Man, I suck at remembering things like that, you know? But it's really, really, really clearly obvious that you can see two shadows. 
you you see Chris go that way. Then you see him come up behind the truck this way, and you clearly see another freaking shadow coming up this way. I mean, it's just like it doesn't get any more clear than than that. So I've thought about um, contacting Scott Reich because I know that he ordered the full case, you know, and he's a practicing criminal attorney and stuff. So I want I wanted to actually reach out to him and see if if he had you know, more information or something, or if his release was only the things that were released anyways to the public. Because you would think that it would be something more inclusive, but I, I don't, I don't know, you know, <laughs> that's why you love me. Why? Why, Clary? Shenan family. File wrongful death suit on, no. And she has to come clean. Yeah, I don't know. I heard about them filing something against Chris Watts, which I think is pointless. I mean, the guy doesn't have anything anyways, right? And he's now in jail and he's going to be working for peanuts. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know? I get so angry, not fear or panic. Yeah, I hear that, Deborah. You think it was Bella because Bella fought back? No, I don't think it was Bella. The shadow was too large, in my opinion, to be the little girls. It was too large. And what the heck would they be doing outside anyways? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't see it, you know? So Chris wants to kill Shannon and Cece and they sleep and kill Bella after. Yeah, I don't know. You left for a split second to to watch the watch the watch shadow thing till after the show. <laughs> You're funny old guy. <laughs> That's cute. Hey Christy, thanks, hon. I try to stay positive, you guys. I mean, I certainly get down and out about a lot of shit. You know, like stuff gets me down and out, and you know. I mumble, I, I freaking, you know, I'm not happy sometimes, but I force myself to be extra happy because I feel like the, the self training of it is just going to constantly bring it out of me, you know? So there's no other way to be like, I mean, I have lived my life as a teenager being quite angry and, you know, I wasn't a very nice person. I was super bitchy. I was always frowning. I was always angry, upset. That's it was no way to live and it never got me anywhere positive anyways. So I so I sort of slowly started changing that in my 20s. And now that I'm 40, you guys, I'm like masterminding it. <laughs> like, let's do this. Ain't nobody gonna get me down now. Ain't nobody gonna tear me apart now. Everybody did that for so long in my life when I was younger. I'm so freaking tough from it now. It doesn't bother me. I stand up for myself like first go. You do something that makes me mad, I'm gonna tell you, and then I'm out. You know, I'll block you or I'm out. Like, I don't have time for drama and bullshit in my life. I've had enough of it. I've had enough fake people. I've had enough you know, bullies, I've had enough fucking, you know, uh, ulterior agendas that they really aren't, they don't care to help me. They just want to find out what I'm doing in order to destroy it, you know? So I, I've chosen to sort of stand and rise above it. And I'm not going to allow all of the negativity to get at me when I can force myself to be extra happy, even if it's not 100% true, and start convincing myself that this is the, this is right. This is the way to feel. It is good to be happy. It's good to be happy. There's so many shitty, lonely, you know, sad people out there. Why contribute to that when I can be something different and be a breath of fresh air and, 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 you know, be the light in the world versus being another shitty contributor, you know, excuse my language. I really should stop swearing seriously, but yes, I am 40. I am for lies, lies. You're so cute. <laughs> 40 and natural. I've only ever used lotions and uh, creams for my face. So there you have it. <laughs> Dad or uncle would have gone to prison. Yeah, thanks, Samantha. I don't know. I think it's just easy to be down. It's harder to be extra happy, even if you're not happy about whatever's going on, you know? I mean, there's always a little bit of a, 
of a benefit or, or positive thing out of every negative, you know, like out of all the bullying and everything I went through as a kid, I don't think I'd be this tough right now and be able to handle this online world and how some people are classily. I think I would be a, a wreck. I would let it affect me. I would let it define me. Uh, I would let it ruin me. I'm not, I'm not willing to do that. You know, I'm on a, I'm a woman on a mission and I'm determined to use my victim voice to help other people in the world. And I'll be damned if anyone's going to try to stop me. I feel like I'm doing a good thing and it's, it, you know, that's nobody else's, you know, position or place to judge whether or not this is or isn't, you know? So you're with me, positive and happy all the way. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh it's a way of life, you know? Cause like I said, the angry way of life, I, I tried that and it didn't really work for me. So drop the F from. <laughs> oh geez. Lori, I'm trying to stay classy. <laughs> You know, it's amazing the strength that comes out for us when we live through something traumatizing, hurtful, loss ensued. It's, it's, it's amazing what the human body and brain is able to do to comprehend and help you deal with it, you know? It does make us so strong, Samantha, you know? Like I, I probably actually, aw, thank you, Lori. You're so sweet. I honestly probably wouldn't even take away some of the bad experience that I've been through due to the strong person that I am now, you know? Sometimes a smile and a positive attitude can help make someone's day and your smile and positive attitude is helping make my day a little bit happier. Aw, Kara, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome, seriously. And isn't it nice that we can come together to do this, right? I mean, I don't know that there's another platform out there where you can create your own sort of what you want for your rules, what you want to share, what you want to talk about, what, you know, I, I don't think there's another platform out there as amazing as YouTube is in order to do this, you know? And you end up finding all the people that are interested in, in interacting with you and talking about the things that interest you and helping you through the things that you've gone through. It's it's really fun that you, you're able to sort of fine tune and pick those. They just sort of come at you and that creates a support system. It's It's an amazing feeling and it's an amazing journey. I always make you smile, Mary. Aw, hey, LPS Stones TV. How are you? I didn't want to miss, I didn't want to miss say the name. I had to lean right in <laughs> to get it. Hey, Mujib. I think that's how you say your name. You have a major potty mouth. I love the potty emoji. That's so cute, Lori. <laughs> it's so funny. A little community, Clary. You're 100% right with that. You know, I, I've, you know, branched out into giving my personal information to many people that I've met through my social media and, you know, through this platform. And, and it's helped grow me personally um, as well. So I'm glad that I'm able to help give some happiness and bring some light to you know, to the world. And I'm happy to have a community of people that enjoy that with me, you know? No need or no, there are hardly any platforms. Unfortunately, there are many YouTubers who just want donations, etc. They don't interact. Well, that's unfortunate. I feel like the interaction gets you to that point. You know, you, it's, it's a work in progress where you're building a relationship and building trust together that, you know, creates for the donation to come later on and if you strictly solely do this for money you're going to be disappointed and that's that's where I learned um where I was going to be most happy because if I I did originally start my channel for building revenue to try to pay off student loans and you know get myself ahead a little bit right and then once I realized you know that there was all these plateaus and there was all these um 
things attached to it with YouTube. I chose to do it out of my heart that I wanted to help people. I wanted to spread awareness on stories. I wanted to use my victim voice and I stopped caring about the money. I don't even care about it at all. I just love the community coming together in order for us to, to share all of these experiences together. I think it helps strengthen us. And I find that if you do it for money, you're going to be disappointed. You know, you have to do it for out of your goodness of your heart, in my opinion. No matter what it is that you're doing, people can see your genuineness and your authenticity through your tone of voice, through your body language, you know, and through your choice of topics, in my opinion, you know. <laughs> YouTube is daycare for the mentally ill. Cape Crusader, well, you're entitled to your opinion. I disagree. I think that it is for the elite artists trying to you know do something new and and pave the way for you know individuality and uniqueness and you know I think that we all have that we all have that you know we all have unique things to bring to the table I like having my platform um it's it, you know it wants I want you guys to share your you know your thoughts and your opinions and you know I want to hear from you guys so <laughs> Cape Crusader. Space Monkey. <laughs> I was just going to read your message about ketchup. You're so funny. So funny. I'm doing a great job. You subscribed? Aw. Hey, that's awesome. I'm so glad you've subscribed. Thanks. I honestly, um, I'd like to just continue to grow the channel continue to bring you guys true stories and, and use my voice to do that. You know, I think there's a lot of ways you can use vo your voice these days. And for me, this is a really positive avenue. So that's what will make you successful. Sherry Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> You're so cute. Real recognizes real and real people eventually gravitate towards each other in the end. Yes, that's true. And I honestly don't want to be a part of all the YouTube drama of whatever the hell is going on out, out in the world with other creators and other drama and trauma between channels. And I, I, I have no use for any of that. So I choose to step back out of that kind of crap, you know? Ketchup is not for everything. I love that you got to answer it, Remy. I was really going to. <laughs> Artist. Love it. No Tiffany purses for you, Sherry. <laughs> oh, that's okay. I, I'm all right. I'm not a materialistic girl. Um, all I want to be able to do in life is, you know, pay my bills and eat. So if, if I can do something that will help people along the way, um, I'm, I'm ecstatic to do that. <clears throat> Sunkissed, you're so funny. All that drama is such a turn off. You've got that right. I literally block, block. See you later. I'm, I'm, I'm not dealing with any of it, you know? I don't want a part of it. I don't want in the middle of it and any channel associated with it. I'm like, no, thank you. Um, I will not be involved in that kind of stuff. I definitely feel like everyone justice. Yes, Mona, that's a really good. Um, I like the way you just said that, you know, that you definitely feel like you weigh the scales and seek justice. That's really, really cool. Where am I from, Sabir? I'm from Canada. The yelling those YouTubers do give headaches. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, man. Whatever. To each their own. I'm not here to judge them. They can have it out all on their own. I'm not going to be involved in it at all. Joey Wilson, old ma thinks old guy is prepper. I don't, but <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> old? Who's old? You mean wise? Oh, that's totally me. 
<laughs> no, don't get me wrong. I still have like dumb moments. Mickey Mouse 318. Hi, Michelle. How are you? <laughs> Prepper 101. <laughs> Come on, Prepper. Sheesh. Did I catch catch on, Sherry? I didn't catch on? No. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> That's what happens when I'm trying to pay attention to chat comments and think and speak. Like talk about multitasking. <laughs> oh man. You were joking. I knew you were joking, Sunkist. <laughs> you're funny. I know you're not prepper. I know who who old my is. <laughs> Oh man. Some places. Yeah, yeah, I hear that, Clary T. Hola, Alejandro. Como estas, amigo? <laughs> Joey Wilson says, No, no, old guy was flirting, and we reckon there's wedding bells on the horizon. <laughs> Too funny. I don't even know who Old Ma is. <laughs> but I have fun. Yeah. I don't know who Old Ma is either. But whatever. <laughs> uh oh. We have Lori yelling out Spanish at us now. Shoot. Si yo hablo or hable espanol. <laughs> I actually said it. <laughs> you got you got the the joke, yeah. DTR Dog, Ontario, Canada, says hello. Hello, hello. <clears throat> I think my girlfriend is cheating. She's watching too. <laughs> Rick James. That's cute. Alejandro. Excelente. Gracias. Saludos. Desde Mexico. I probably didn't say that all correctly, but hi, Mexico. <laughs> Oh, boy. You know who Old Ma is? She's Aussie, and that's all I will say. Okay. I don't know. Never heard of her. Razzy. That name sounds familiar. I don't know, somebody in um, Australia, old guy. Hey, Wesley, how are you? Oh, my case, and he wants, oh, my God. Sheesh, sun kissed. <laughs> You're brutal. Yeah, apparently she's from Australia. I actually don't know who she is so i guess we're gonna have to go and look at look it up ourselves you know your lips are sealed joey okay <laughs> she changed her name it's so funny in chat oh okay <laughs> <clears throat> You guys will sleuth it out. You're funny. No, 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 no. Annette. Okay. Old guy. Apparently, old Olma is Annette. I don't know. I have to go and look into it. <laughs> Interesting, though, that... Um, Jake Thomas Patterson's brother is a, you know, convicted sex offender. Interesting. And I do wonder if he did see Jamie at the house at all, you know, or what, or was she just not noticed and he kept her in another room, maybe in the basement or, or whatever, you know? <laughs> what are we wowing? 
You're on the detective shit? Okay, right? Clary T? Are you watching the, um, or are you, like, you're kind of, like, watching the, uh, the footage of the camera that he slowed down and he changed the lighting on? Because you can clearly see a secondary shadow coming up in the opposite direction. A uh, little too big to be a child, but Nicole Kessinger is a short girl. She's a tiny girl. Like, maybe two heads taller than Bella, for real, Right? Two, three heads taller. Like, she really wasn't that much taller. Hey, 24-hour crime. Hey, Steve. How much olive brand to make a martini? I have no idea. I've actually never had a martini in my life. That uh, never have I ever game we played on New Year's. There's so many things I could have told you guys that I've never done. Yeah, Nicole Kessinger is, is is a tiny woman, so you haven't watched it yet? Oh, man, girl, you got to go check that out. I watched it just before I jumped onto my live. Have I heard any news on the Canadian woman and boyfriend missing in West Africa? Ooh, no, I haven't. What's their names, 24-hour crime? I mean, I could just Google the story, but... The Watts case is super addicting, only because I feel like we only have half-ass justice. I feel like we don't have full justice um, until we can find out exactly the coordinates of Nicole Kessinger. And, you know, that was supposed to be subpoenaed and, you know, a warrant was supposed to be issued for it. But I don't know if, if they actually got that information, if it was, you know, if they utilized the warrant and, and you know, sought that info. You're, I've got to watch that video. All right, everyone, I'm off to do laundry. Have a great day. Okay, Remy, thank you so much for your donation, hon. You have a wonderful, safe day. If you're doing laundry outside of your apartment, please lock your door. Before you walk out the door, you never know who might be lingering to come in behind you as you leave it open. So be safe. That's my tip for you. But much love. Mwah. <laughs> Happy laundry day. And don't forget to check out the video with... um the armchair detective guy for the shadows because it was really, really, really profound. Answers haven't been given. Half-ass justice. Exactly. That's what I feel like about the Chris Watts case. Like, come on. You know, I'm actually going to put in um, a request to see if I can't order the um, the documents in the case. You know, I've kind of had enough of guessing and, and trying to piece things together through public information. It's starting to really piss me off, to be honest with you. Um, you know, and I've said it before, like if she thinks that if she's so not guilty and she really had no involvement, why hasn't she come forth her damn self? To show the public that, you know, to show the public that she really was actually just going to work. And that's, you know, that's the only reason she was in the area. <clears throat> uh, Deborah, you have to watch. Okay, you're saying, Deborah, that you watched the video several times, but you don't understand what everybody's freaking out about. Watch the underneath of the truck. Don't watch the top parts, the trees. Focus solely just on the bottom piece of the truck. That's where you see the shadows. It's nowhere else. So it's very, very, very slight. But it's very noticeable that it is a person, sweetheart. You can see that. You can see the two legs even. Like, I'm just like, oh, my God. Why is so much of this not being looked into? Or why, why, why is none of this sort of being followed up on and stuff? Like, what don't we know that everybody else fucking knows, you know, as far as authorities and like, you know, the people, investigators and, you know, the inside track folk that were in the legal team and stuff. It's like they clearly know more than what we know, but it's creating for, you know, anger in the public because it looks like she's guilty. So... You know, I'm actually going to actually look into ordering this thing and I'm going to reach out to Scott Reich and see if I can't talk to him about whether or not, you know, he got more information out of that disclosure or did he just get the exact same stuff that was released to the public?
I have a legal diploma, Sabir, if you're wondering what makes me qualified to even sort of talk about some of these things. I took um, a legal course in 2016, 2017, I graduated. And, you know, it's always been of interest to me, crimes, you know, why people do them, what the method of the madness is behind their mind, you know. So, you know, detective, no, um, you know, but definitely a concerned citizen for the justice system and whether or not it's fully even being the justice system, you know, because it also should be held accountable if it's not being the, the correct judicial system, in my opinion, you know, we just need enough people to come together in order to hold them accountable. Russell Peters interrogation video must watch. That would be so funny. Russell Peters did an interrogation video on what, though? On the Watts case? I don't know what you're saying, Alejandro. Sorry. So I wonder when she deleted the text before or after. She deleted the text before she went into the police. You know, and she went in with the story that she's been lied to and deceived by Chris and blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, everything that she freaking said was a lie. She knew who she who he was. <coughs> she researched his wife in 2017. Um, you know, she knew that that he had kids. She knew that Shanann Watts was pregnant, even though she said she didn't because her and Chris had an argument as to whether or not their relationship would end because Shanann was pregnant by Chris. And he had lied to her saying that they weren't even sleeping together. Meanwhile, he was sleeping with both of them. So. Guilty as fuck is right. And I'm so like tired of patience we need, we need some action, you know? We need some action to sort of make this happen. Hey, Ebony. No, the research was not a typo. I saw the discovery document, um, Joey, and it was a search that she did on Shanann Watts. So she knew exactly who that woman was. And when she went into the police station, she boldface fucking lied about the whole thing. So tell me how any of that legally warrants a deal in any way. As soon as she like lied, she seriously put herself in jeopardy with officials, in my opinion. I strongly freaking believe that if her dad wasn't like, you know, oil big wig, he they she wouldn't be as protected as she is right now. And I honestly strongly believe that that is only for a matter of time, that eventually this is all going to come to head and she is going to be held accountable for her actions, or we will at least get to see the information that she was not at the fucking house. But right now it looks like she was. You saw the discovery. You never saw, if you would have went through the discovery, it's in there. It's in there. It's in, you can see the, um, the IP addresses. You can see that the search was done from the computer. Um, it, it's very obvious. If you went through it page by page by page, each individual page, which was really time consuming, it, it, it showed a lot. Can you speak English, Bartos? Whoever the heck you are. She should be charged with getting rid of evidence. Um, there's a few things, right? I mean, she lied to officials. So how is that legal? Especially in, you know, that type of investigation. Money talks is, uh, you know, is bullshit. That shouldn't negate the judicial system just because money talks, you know? Yeah, <laughs> clearly walks, yeah. Now you have to go to Google what, Ebony? She deleted the text um, only out of embarrassment, face sitting and such. Otherwise, she would have saved them. 
yeah, who cares though? You know, nobody cares about whatever you like in sex or what you don't like or anal or who cares, right? Why did you have to delete every single thing though? Like that's a little weird. And then you searched as to whether or not police would be able to find deleted messages. And if you could ever actually get rid of them. So she was clearly trying to cover her ass up a little bit there, you know? But you've seen somewhere that it was a typo. No, it wasn't a typo. No, it wasn't a typo at all. Like, withholding information, obstruction, there's all kinds of things that that girl can be charged with. And, you know, there's, there's, there's no deal that should be on the fucking table if her ass was helping him dispose of his kids and his wife, you know? A typo, exactly. Like, come on, get off it. There's no fucking typo. Am I busy after the chat, Jody? I can make some time for you, honey. No problem. Oh, you could talk Spanish to them, Lori. That's okay. I just um I'm not I'm not into discussing anything political, so I'm I'm kind of like it is frustrating. Ah. That's why I'm kind of like just ignoring those other people. But I am super freaking frustrated by this whole case and this whole situation. I don't care how much fucking money somebody has. It shouldn't be able to pay for justice to get you out of something criminal. Like if you did something wrong, you should have to pay for that. You should have to be held accountable. Thank you so much, Lori. You're so sweet. Aw, thank you. Yeah, no, it wasn't the Spanish that bothered me. It was some other foreign language that I couldn't understand that I was like, could you just speak English? <laughs> Cause I can't, I don't know. I don't know what all the languages are. I can guess a little bit at Spanish cause I'm French. So, <laughs> but you know, back to the whole like Nicole Kessinger and, and guilty or not type thing. It is super fucking frustrating to see that she clearly has some involvement and yet it's ignored for some reason you know she didn't want anyone to see she likes double penetration i don't i don't care and i don't think that that's i don't think that's reason enough you know you would think the defense would have pulled the temp insanity card yeah i oh. can't believe she had to google Pretty self-explanatory, really. Sorry, what's DP? You're probably going to, excuse me, you're probably going to mention what DP is, and I'm going to be like, oh, but what's DP? <laughs> Chief, some abbreviations, you know, there's so much. I don't know this case enough to comment, but enjoy watching. Steve, are you talking about the Watts case that you don't know very much about the Watts case or about Jamie Kloss's case? Oh, double penetration. See? See? I knew as soon as you freaking said what it was, I'm going to be like, oh, that happens to me all the time. <sighs> yeah, you know, I've, I've said it from the beginning, though. It doesn't really matter what her sexual preference is, what position she likes it in, or what the hell she does behind closed doors. I really don't care. As long as she didn't have a hand in helping to kill the Watts girls and, you know, dispose of them or knew about it and didn't stop it. Like if you know that somebody is planning to kill somebody and, and you don't stop that, you might as well have just killed them yourself, you know, for crying out loud. That's like judicial 101, in my opinion. <laughs> it's okay, Samantha, you can laugh, honey. I get all fired up about things sometimes, you know? The thing about me is that, like, I have a long fuse, but once you piss me off to the point that, like, it's it's at the 
the end of that fuse, uh, that's it. Like I'm going to freaking start doing anything and everything to figure it out um, so that it's not going to piss me off anymore or put it out of my life so that it doesn't bother me anymore. You know, Nicole will be followed up in a year's time. Police aren't done with her yet. Why would it take so long though? Old guy. That's, that's a long time. She just had to have no strings attached relationship. Yeah. Nicole Kessinger should uh she just should have just told the truth from the beginning. I totally agree. She probably wouldn't even be in this situation had she have told the truth from the beginning, gone in with all of her text messages and said, like, could you please black out anything sexual? It's really not, it doesn't pertain to the case. All we needed to make sure was that she didn't have any conversation with Chris about you know, disposing or killing of his family and, you know, getting rid of the kids and Shanann or whatever. We needed to eliminate that. And that wasn't able to happen, in my opinion. <clears throat> <clears throat> Try not to say whose name. They can flag me honestly all they want. Um, the truth hurts, you know. It sucks that um, authorities only released pieces to this case. It sucks that nobody wants to come forward to show the proof of what they used to eliminate her as a suspect. But whose fault is that? <laughs> like, seriously. Good God. Yeah, I don't know. I just think the sexual part of it really, really doesn't matter. Well, I have been talking about Kessinger for months and nothing has happened. So I don't think it's going to. Her whole like damage control, I think she was doing herself with friends or her lawyer or whatever, but none of it was actually legally binding. It was just verbal. And, you know, it was requests. And I haven't received a single one. So come at me, please. Yeah, no, Clary T, that's okay, hon. I appreciate it. I seriously just don't have absolutely a single freaking thing to worry about. In all honesty... I'm missing the uh, fear component that I'm supposed to have here for some reason that other people have supposedly gotten. No, it's not happened here. So I'm sure I just don't want to get in trouble. I have to kill all the people. You're so funny, Clarity. Now that shit probably got flagged. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. There was a murder in my area years ago. The teen went missing and found murdered, but police couldn't prove it. It was the mother. Police did a sting on her at a bar. It was a hire. She described how she did the murder. Interesting. That's interesting. I think some YouTubers are lying too. Straight up, Lori. I agree with you. I 100% agree with you. There's been people that have made up like false um, testimony that have, you know, false facts. Facts. <laughs> and, um, you know, and they do that in order to get the views and the clicks and whatever. I wonder if they get hated on, you know? I really do wonder if they get hated on. <laughs> Mary. Yeah, no, not anything to get a view, though, you know? <clears throat> well, I guess that depends on the type of person you are, though, you know? In my opinion, Joey. <laughs> have I put Kessinger in my titles? Fuck yeah. Oh, yes, I have. She's in the description. Her petitions are up. I've totally gone after her possibly being guilty about this and us needing to re-question her and us, we're like, not us specifically, but like the fact that the petitions need to get signed in order to have her re-questioned and reinvestigated and possibly polygraphed. And yes, I have 
hundred percent, you know, so pisses me off about all of this. It's just like, you know, come mess with Canada. Come on, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do most murders go unsolved or just a few? Steve's asking. I think it depends on you was being sarcastic, Joey. Oh, but you, you got me. <laughs> Sheesh. Uh, NK hiring defamation lawyers ludicrous because it's public knowledge. And so we, we are all allowed to talk about it and air her shit. You got it. You have 100% fucking got it. You know, and the, like I said, the damage, the damage control that was even freaking happening was more than likely just her and her friends trying to get a hold on all of this and act like a lawyer, or act like they were going to give them trouble if they continued. And they intimidated them. I think everybody can clearly see I'm not somebody that's easily intimidated, that I am somebody who's going to stand up for what I believe in. And I'm somebody who's going to go for full justice. And if she had some involvement in this, she should be held accountable. Does, <laughs> sarcasm never comes through chat <laughs> especially in text right I mean, seriously but I get all fired up about stuff that really really bothers me and that this case touched my heart to the point that I cried for those children now if she had involvement with that that's where I get angry that I don't care what deal was put out if you had involvement in that then you should be held accountable for that Four fucking people aren't here on the face of the earth because of all that. I, I mean, come on. Like, that's a little extreme, right? I've watched some of her Thrive videos, for sure. That was just her way of making money. Don't you think it's weird how they wrapped up the case so quickly? Is it possible that she got... Well, it would... <sighs> I have not seen any immunity anywhere, to be honest with you. And, you know, it is odd that they wrapped it up so quickly. However, he pled guilty. So there was really no reason to be going to trial. So there was no reason to continue collecting evidence and all of that. Right. So that's kind of OK. Right. It's just the fact that, you know, it looks like his girlfriend, the other woman, had some other involvement here. I really hope for all of you guys that are here today watching that you have a chance to run over to the armchair detective channel and check out the shadows of Chris Watts. It's, it's like a, it's a 10 minute video or less or something like that. So it's not very long and you can clearly freaking see two shadows. There is no way that Chris Watts shadow coming in from this way could have created the shadow coming from this way. And I don't think that it's Bella. The shadow is too big to be Bella. So I hope you guys have a chance to go and check it out because it was seriously, um, you know, like I've watched a lot of those uh, videos that were slowed down. I've watched for the shadows. Deborah, I have had just as much issues trying to see them. But in this video, the armchair detective tells you where to specifically focus on and he changes the lighting and helps you to really see that shadow. And it's, it's unmistakable. So... Now I want to know, was there any cameras on the other side of this house that could have caught who that person may have been? Or have we been able to see the GPS coordinates to see if Nicole was in the area or not? I mean, uh, yeah, he has a super cool accent. I love the, I love those kind of accents. I think it's, uh, is it Australian? I think you're going to watch it old guy. Yeah, it's pretty informative. I'm your soul, Sister Lori. Oh, I just love you, girl. Much love. Great grandparents were matriarchies and chicks wanted to be great grandmother, so you murdered my Wow, that's so sad, Laura. Sheesh. Yeah, definitely check it out after this, you know, because it was uh <laughs> I feel like I'm all sending you guys there now. Go now! <laughs> you know but it's it was so like eye opener I've seen the other footages I just haven't seen it in the light change like that and slowed down the way that it was you know so like kudos to armchair detective for, for real because um, it, it was a really good video then my great grandmother took off with him and abandoned my grandpa and his brothers. Oh my gosh, Laura, that's horrible. Sheesh. It's British? Thank you. 
so sorry. <laughs> of course I got it wrong. Of course. <laughs> Thank God the trial didn't take place in Canada. He would be out in five to ten. VDR dog, are you making fun of our judicial system? <laughs> No, I think that we have some pretty strict um, judges here. I think it depends on each case is different. You know, each is, is valued differently and weighed differently in the judicial system. So, you know, there might be, you know, there, there might, there, there's injustices here just like there is there. I mean, it's, you know, there's good and bad everywhere, right? Deborah watched Armchair Detective video. It's called Yeah, Watts in the Shadows. That's what it's called. <clears throat> I I um I thought that John Grimes was gonna be a good friend for me, but he turned out to not be somebody sincere for me. So I had to step back from that entire situation. Um, so you know, by all means, I actually do run with the fact that if you like somebody that I don't like anymore, I don't really care. Like, it's totally your prerogative to like who you like. And you don't have to not like who I don't like or like who I like. I mean, it just it just doesn't have to be like that. Um, but I, I tell you that when I feel that somebody is not being sincere with me, I will step back out of that situation. And that is something that happened between us. And I'm going to leave it at that because I don't want to bring any mess into my channel. So, yeah, I knew what you meant, Clary T. That was my response to that, honey. You're Aussie. That's how you know, Joey. That's so cool. I bet you have the coolest accent ever. <laughs> Do they wear wigs in Canada? Well, yeah, but this my this is my real hair. We have hair pieces here. <laughs> Canada court? No, they don't wear wigs in Canada court. No, sorry. I didn't quite finish that whole sentence. <laughs> uh, clearly, you can tell that. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> I tried to try to put what's behind me, lots of tears of sleepless night for the shenanigans babies. Yeah, I hear you, girl. You know, Deborah, I just think it's... um. Our duty is as citizens to request full justice if we see impartial justice, you know? Queenie Q, for the record, you think I'm totally right about Nicole. Thank you, girl. Mm, cadaver dogs at the Watts house way back was very informative. Yes. I think I might have seen that, actually. Clary, never met her. My grandfather and his brothers and family fought when I was 15 and his brothers were nine. When she abandoned them. Aw, that's so sad, Laura. Abandonment issues is something I deal with and that they are not fun, you know? They they really are traumatizing and devastating to the heart and soul of someone, you know? <clears throat> Let me fully solve. That's why I can't seem to let this whole thing go. You know, to me right now, it's a shit show. You know, yeah, they wear the wigs in the British court, but we don't do that here in Canada. You can slice and eat from you guys' throat on a greyhound and ride again. <laughs> Yes, the VTR dog, that actually happened right where I live, um, on, on the outskirts with that uh, Greyhound bus. And that was Vince Lee that um, beheaded somebody on the bus. Yeah. Very, very crazy. This is mellow here. That's good. <laughs> When is it not really that mellow? Unless I'm fired up about, you know, the Watts case, really. They do. They wear the wigs in Australia, too. Well, that's pretty cool. It's just me. Or do you look like a supermodel today? Aw, Steve. <laughs> You're funny. Well, thank you. 
you guys are so sweet. Seriously, you guys are so sweet. They wear mops on the head, old guy. You're funny. Oh, it's beautiful here. It's looking gorgeous. Looking gorgeous today. Oh, well, thanks. I did. I thought I was just normal, regular makeup. <laughs> Always mellow here. This is the safe part of YouTube. I 100% agree with you. I wonder if YouTube recognizes that about my platform, you know? I know that it has continuously, it's just grown in leaps and bounds since I started this last year in November. Um, you know, we're like 14 months in and, you know, 5,500 people and growing every day. So I wonder if other people recognize that this is a safe platform, that they're able to express themselves and articulate their, their thoughts, no matter what those are. And not get attacked and jumped on and, and beaten down for saying it, you know? <clears throat> Sherry's channel. Thanks, Deborah. Was there any other questions that anybody had before we sort of wrap this live up for today? Or have we sort of touched on everything you guys wanted to touch on and... I mean, I know that we're going to, we're closely going to be following um, the Jake Thomas Patterson cases now that Jamie Kloss has been found alive. <coughs> Torture in Canadian prisons has been the worst. I couldn't handle being pummeled into where with Timbits. You're funny. <laughs> BTR dog pummeled with Timbits. It was an awful case in Nova Scotia when they were battling over the custody of a child. The mother eventually walked into the sea with the baby. Oh, my goodness. I think I did see that movie, actually, Mona. What was that called again? Do you remember, by chance? It's positive when channel growth is a little at a time. Um, you know, I think it just shows pos positivity that it's a good thing we're doing here and, and that's why it continuously grows, you know? Like, I don't think that I would change who I am or how I present things, the way that I talk or the realness about me in any way, shape or form if I was to grow to a million subscribers tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, it's just not in my personality nature to think I'm better than someone else or to think that, um, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't have that kind of an ego attached to me. I've, I've always been more humble, you know? So I would just be all the more encouraged that there was all that many more people that really appreciated the open, truthful platform that we have, you know? Slow and steady win wins the race, I think you're trying to say, hey? Hey, Eritrea. Eritrea. <laughs> I'm okay, hon. How are you? Goodness. I, <laughs> Clary, I knew what you meant. Your typo, though. <laughs> That's funny. So can I make an observation? I feel that Brian St. John is having videos made of him to get heat off another YouTuber, by the way, not trying to start drama. I have no idea who any of those people are. Um, the thing about me with YouTube is that I, I like to support the people that support me. So I go around and I find new channels that um, do similar things to mine or have, you know, large followings that we can grab a lot of people's attention with. And, you know, working, collaborating with somebody is something that I've recently been trying to do with um, some of the larger channels like I feel like I'm um, going for the stars and, or going for the moon. And if I hit the stars, I'm good. You know, that old saying. So I'm starting to sort of tap into, you know, uh, other realms that I, I have not been into yet in order to grow in different ways. So please, would you please go to Armchair Detective and watch a new video about Bella walking out to Chris while he's up? That's not Bella, Rick. That's what I've been talking about. I've been sitting here talking about Armchair Detective's uh, Watts shadow video. That is not Bella. That shadow is too big to be Bella, Rick. You need to watch that again. In my opinion. <laughs> Logan just got here, I think. You're right. Exactly. Rick Logan just got here. <laughs> 
Yeah, I don't know who any of the people are that you're talking about. Um, uh, VTR dog. So, I like I said, I just I just don't get involved in all that drama crap. Great place here. Like like other YouTubers, if none of you attack me for that, of course. And you know what? The other thing is, is that if somebody does start attacking one of my viewers, I will certainly be standing up for you. I will certainly be stopping that. And usually if I have a mod on, they are on top of that even more so because they're literally right. They, they're not, you know, focused on the topic and the reading and the conversation happening. They're just focused on reading the comments. So a lot of times that my mods will catch it before I do. But if I catch that somebody is disrespecting or being rude or mean or belittling another viewer of mine, you better believe I'm going to be all over that. That's not tolerated and it's not accepted and it will not happen on my channel. So, I mean, people will try to freaking put it through. People will try to be like that, but it gets squashed real quick because I don't tolerate that. I don't want drama and bullshit on my channel. That's not what I am about. So rise above it, folks. Rise above it. <laughs> you just got back on, Rick. That's okay. No, we've been talking about that, actually. And it's definitely not Bella's um, shadow. That is That definitely looks like it could be Nicole Kessinger's shadow. <laughs> you love it when I say A? <laughs> Everybody. No, I don't think it was a blanket either. You see the two legs. You see the separation. You see the walk. So, no. Um, I would state to go back and, and check that video again, because it, it is, it is what it is. And, and the camera doesn't lie, right? Great points on all different issues. Looking forward to the next video. Okay, Samantha, honey, have a great day, girl. You love my non-judgmental approach. I truly believe that's the only way to be in this world. But other human beings seem to be taking it upon themselves to be the judge and think who should be doing this or not doing that or whatever they're doing, you know. Um, and that's where I think uh, they go wrong. They, they don't have any right to be doing that. So mods don't allow bullying. Exactly. We're going to like who we like. That's human nature. Yeah, it's absolutely true. And, you know, yeah, standing up for my channel supporters. Yeah, supporters freedom. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that's the thing is that I'm not going to sit here and try to sway somebody on, on, uh, on somebody else. Like, who am I? That's the way I see it. Like, if, you know, people can like and talk to and be around whoever they want. They will formulate their own opinion based on their own experiences. And that's all for them, each individual person. You know, no, no one person can take that over for another, in, in my opinion, unless you are mentally challenged and you need somebody to help you with that. Squash like a bug. Exactly. It's a Canadian thing. I love it, too. <laughs> yeah, we say A all the time. I need to see this curiosity is killing me. Yeah, I'm actually going to be wrapping this up right right now, you guys, because I do want um, low keyed shade. <laughs> you know what? It's like I, I'm, I'm rising above it. I refuse to freaking pitch into it. Um, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going in another direction, and you know, whatever. <laughs> You don't agree with talking other channel content to build up your own. I totally agree, Miss White. That's why I refuse to allow that in here, you know. Um, I, I don't agree with, with bashing somebody to get, you know, more views or, or whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's not classy at all. It's severely distasteful. And, you know, it may help you temporarily to gain some, uh, you know, fame or fortune or whatever you're looking for. But uh, in the end, you know, like I prefer to be comforted by the ethics that I work with, um, you know, for my channel and, and what I what I want to portray to you guys, the platform that I want to have that's accepting for everybody. You can't have that if you have all this drama and attacking and belittling and name calling and and. Like, you can't have what I have if you have that, you know? And that's that's something that I'm, I'm definitely not willing to compromise on. I will maintain a drama-free environment that's accepting of everybody 
no matter who you like or don't like, <laughs> um, you're allowed to express that here, you know? Excuse me, Lori, it's a boat. No, oh, she's emotionally involved in Jamie Kloss case. Stay tuned for the Jamie Kloss case updates. I will let you guys know as we go forward. Um, and then I will definitely, hopefully everybody who's been to my channel has had a chance to sign the petition. If you haven't, um, please please check out the, the last um, live on Nicole Kessinger. The petitions are in there. I believe it says that. And um, feel free to share those in order to get some traction going on this situation. And yeah, thanks, Ms. White. I'm glad you agree. I totally think it's it's um, it's very indifferent of me to be classy and not have that kind of platform because so many other people seem to have that kind of platform and it may help them get further ahead right now. But I choose to take the longer route. I think it's going to be more successful and lucrative in the end, you know, so I'll hold on to my dignity, my class, and my ethics along the way, and we'll we'll do this uh, slow and steady. <laughs> but I definitely thank you guys all for watching, and I hope that um, you join me next time for the next live will be on Saturday. Thanks, Beverly. I really appreciate your viewing. Uh, next live is going to be on, well, for crying out loud, are we? <laughs> okay. I also want to say, though, that I'm going to be fixing the times for the live show so that everybody can have um, consistency. Like I had tried to do that in the beginning with the morning and it wasn't very successful. I've changed the times around so much in the, the last few months that I really want to finalize on a time to start the live shows. So um, I'm going to be uh, letting you guys all know this this week what that time is going to be so stay tuned if you're if you're interested in joining me regularly consistently at the same time for the lives or tuesdays and saturdays then i i'm going to be letting you know this week what time that is going to be starting at okay each and every each and every week both days <laughs> so thank you guys all for watching and um i hope you have a safe rest of your day and we'll see you again soon for another true story with me. Bye for now.